Hey guys, Johnny Page here over at Silvertrack Software. This week we're answering a question we get all the time. Should security companies charge more for the use of guard management software? Let's dive in. All right, so first off, before we get too far into this, yes, absolutely, if your company is using guard management software at a post, you should absolutely be charging for the use of the software. That's a cost you're incurring to provide services for the client, so you should absolutely be including that in your guard rate, just like you would uh, any other overhead or cost uh, you come across in terms of delivering that service to the client. But what will vary from client to client is how you actually present the cost of the software to the customer in your proposal. So there's a couple of different options here and we're gonna dive into three different ways to present the cost of guard management software to your client in today's video. But first, before we even get that far, you've gotta answer the question, do I wanna give my client the option to use or not to use guard management software at the property? So to answer that question, let's consider some of the pros and cons of using using guard management software at a client site. If you forego the option of using guard management software at a property, there's really four areas that you've got to look at, and there are probably more, but we've listed off a couple of the high level ones here. First off, you got to consider the time that it's going to take to collect and distribute the reports. You've also got to consider the time it's going to take to now, instead of having a guard management solution tell you when there are underperforming officers on site, you're going to have to do the randomized post inspection approach that a lot of companies are doing. The third thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna take a longer time to train on site. You're not gonna have a solution there constantly prompting the guard of what to be doing. So you're gonna to have to make sure that they're properly trained. That's most likely going to take a longer initial session and then some additional sessions with a supervisor as the guard continues to settle into their role at that post. And then fourth, you've gotta think about the time that it's gonna take for you to go and recover old reports if the client ever requests one. So you've gotta make sure that you answer the question, do I want my client to have the option to decline the additional cost and or the use of the guard management software at their property? So if you want to give your client the option to either use or not use guard management software at the property, the first two options we covered today are going to be the route you'll want to go. Okay, so option number one, we're going to include the use of the software as a flat monthly rate in addition to the hourly guard rate. So you're going to include in that flat monthly rate, the use of the cell phone, any kind of data package, and also the license for the guard management software. The pro here to this approach is that it's simple. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend is just make sure you don't get too aggressive with the actual guard rate. I've seen some companies come in at like $250 and $300 uh, for the use of the guard management software in the phone. That's a little bit too expensive. You'll sure to get some pushback from the client on that. So just keep it conservative, cover your costs, maybe mark it up between 30 and 50% percent is what we're most commonly seeing. Okay, so option number two is to actually add the use of the cell phone, the data plan, and the license as uh, an additional hourly rate. Uh, so you're splitting this as a separate line item on the actual proposal. This is actually my least favorite option. I haven't seen it be very successful. Of course, I'm not involved in every single proposal that our clients send out. However, when you do it this way, uh, it's almost causing the technology to be a variable rate. So if they use uh, for example, the use of the technology is going to cost more at a site that's doing 168 hours a month versus a site only doing, I'm sorry, 168 hours a week versus a site that's only doing 56 hours a week. That doesn't make very much sense because uh, the client's going to understand and know uh, that the license for the software and also the use of the cell phone is more of a fixed monthly rate. So uh, you can build it in this way. However, if you want to build it into the hourly rate, I would actually recommend uh, option number three in which we are actually going to add this into the hourly rate, but the separate line item on the proposal is actually going to be waived. So you take your cost, you build it into the hourly guard rate, just like you would any other uh, overhead or cost uh, for providing your services, but you're not giving it as an option for the client to uh, push back on the price and or say, hey, I don't want to include that in this, or can you give me a price if that wasn't included? Uh, you're just basically saying, hey, we're going to waive the cost 
of the software. In this situation, you're not giving them the option uh, to get your services without the solution, which means when you do get the contract, you're gonna operate as efficiently as possible. It's gonna be a win-win for everyone involved. All right, so I hope that this week gave you some really practical tools you can use to include guard management software with every proposal that you send out. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have a different approach that you're seeing be successful, let us know. We'd love to hear it um, and then share it with the community here at SilverTrack. If you're not already using guard management software, our team would love to get in touch with you to show you a better way to operate your guard company. We truly are seeing companies increase in efficiency, improve their ability to compete in a super saturated marketplace. And overall, it's just making a huge impact on their business. That's what we live for. We're passionate for seeing security companies really reach their full potential. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, I'm Johnny Page. I'll see you on next week's video.